We're now going to demonstrate plan sheet generation in our Open Rose Designer demo. So we're going to open up, we're going to create a blank file from one of our seed files that we're going to use to generate our sheets and put our boundary of our sheets in. So we're renaming this one, calling it sheets.dgn. Again, I'm just doing this for the demo. We're opening up that file. And once again, this is a blank file. I'm going to turn around and attach the documents that we're going to need. So we're going to attach as reference files. So we're going to do super elevation, geometry, we're going to do the image, the corridor, and the topography. Just going to OK through those, attach those in, fit the view. And there we have our imagery and all our other files. We'll go ahead and turn off the imagery. Uh, it's useful to have it there uh, if you want to turn it on in your plan views, but right now it's just in my way, so I'm turning it off. I'm going to zoom in, see what we've got attached here. There's our listing of our files. I didn't get the terrain in there, and I wanted to be able to take into account the terrain when it's uh, spacing out the plan and profile areas, mainly the profile area. So I'm pulling the terrain now, I'm making the terrain active. I just made that terrain active. Now we're going to do our view controls. And we're highlighting here, these are the built-in views that I described. Uh, you OK there, you pick your alignment, and you pick your profile view. And you have your profile view. This one is missing the terrain in the profile view, the existing ground in the profile view. So I'm fixing that. You see it pop in right here. Okay, now we're going to go place our boundaries. I'm going to switch to the plan production workflow and we'll select the name boundary tool. And the name boundaries are what's going to define the areas that we're going to use for plan. We're going to use the uh, place name boundary civil plan tool. We're going to select our seed file one equals one inch equals 100. And we can name our plan set. So we're going to name ours plan one. You can see up above we selected the plan and profile 100 scale drawing seed. So right now we're going to pick the alignment and that starts the, the, the stationing. And so you get a dynamic line there that lets you go pick the stationing. Or you can hit one of the arrows that will go to the beginning. And there's also another area for the ending station. When you do the ending station, you can see it's laying out the sheets there. You can see that the, sh the boundaries are actually parallel and not like stepped rectangles. And you can see that that's what it's going to reference on when it actually creates your sheet. That creates a little bit of an issue in plan sheets you'll see later on in those curved areas with them not being without they're going to have to be adjusted on the border. So we're going to do the profile section now. I'm going to do the uh, pick the uh, 100 scale and we set the scale and this section is going to be set to they're going to be based on what you've already done in your plan section. So that's going to determine where the profile goes. You can see I'm pointing at there the method is from plan group. So we've also selected on to use the terrain and use the active vertical. So it's going to take, it's going to, it's going to include the existing ground when it's spacing things out. So we're placing the boundaries now, and there are the boundaries for the profile. Now we're going to go up and click the little corner tool down there. We're going to kind of get a name boundary sort of manager. So it's going to come up and it's going to show our plan and profile name boundaries that we just created. 
And we got toggles up here that we can show the create drawing dialog. We can annotate as we're placing things. And the other tools that invoke creating the plan and profiles, just creating the plan, creating the profile separately. Uh, you can fit the boundaries if you've got one highlighted. So anyways, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to hit uh, create the plan and profile drawing and I don't have the create or the the toggle turned on that pulls up the dialog. So it's just going to process them with sort of default settings. You can see the progress bar down there below where we're creating and generating all the reference files. Everything's being created in this one design file. So all five of these sheets are being created in models in this one design file. So here's one of the sheets, plan and profile. You can see the profile. It's got that parallel thing going on. It's going out beyond the boundaries. Uh, you can move that around. You're going to have to tweak it and adjust it and adjust the references. Um, here I'm going to pop out and just change the yellow color because a lot of the annotation is, is yellow. And by default, this is a sheet model. And sheet models, by default, come in white. Um, sheet models help define print areas and stuff like that and they're basically designed to just use as a as a way to uh, print from and not to draw in and you can see when I zoom out here there's sort of a shaded border around it that sort of tells you it's a sheet model this is our new uh, sheet or sheet border that we've got in here you can see how it does a lot better with those uh, no notches in the plan and profile area so things lay out real nice in it here I'm going to go back through it and generate this again on this time I'm going to click on the add sheet index and this time I've told it to bring up this create drawing dialog where it gives you some controls over what you're doing and it gives me the ability to add click on the add sheet index this is going to reprocess what I've just done and sort of redo it only this time I'm going to create the sheet index so I can show you what that is and that could be used for uh, doing sheet navigating sheets and their sort of their sheet numbering they've got in here and annotating things and um, we'll have to see as we go further along in our processes of configuring this up if we're going to use much of that so anyway you can see the sheet indexes are over there you can see the separate plan and profiles and you can use that to open up those reference files in there and you can use it to navigate straight to the sheet indexes like i said there are models in there you can also do just navigate to the various models um, here we can show you uh, the different attachments in there. there's a plan profile the sheet border So you can also see this is the white background. You see the black shading around there. And you can change this through preferences. You can change this to be different colors, but this is the default. And so this is why we're kind of contemplating maybe doing more drawing in white backgrounds. But like I said, you can change it, but the, the light and dark colors can come into play. If you use white and black, they do a lot better because white becomes black when it's on uh, a white surface and the reverse is true when it's on a dark surface. So we're going to move on to cross-section sheets. And that's plan and profile sheets in an open-rows designer.